Clean water is something that many in the United States take for granted. 780 million people in the world do not have access to clean drinking water. Our proposal addresses this crisis in Kenya, where 17 million people are affected. Women and children in Kenya spend 60% of their day collecting dirty water. The resulting waterborne illnesses and time wasted retrieving water cause children to miss school and adults to miss work. This perpetuates the cycle of poverty. There are currently several solutions to clean water. Cloth filtration fails to remove most harmful pathogens. Chlorine tablets are expensive and not widely available, while boiling is resource intensive and bad for respiratory health. Ceramic water filters are another solution. They were first designed for use by Potters for Peace. The filters are made by pressing a mixture of clay and sawdust into a bowl shape and firing a kiln. During firing, the sawdust burns out and creates pores large enough to allow water to flow through while trapping about 99.9% .9 of harmful microbes. Selling these filters helps create jobs, which is important in Kenya where nearly 40% of the population is unemployed. Worldwide, there are only 1 million of these filters in use and only one ceramic filter factory in Kenya. This is because the cost of each press is over $3,000. The presses are made in the U.S. from heavy-duty materials to withstand the stresses of the pressing and ship to where they will be used. To reduce the startup cost, we will reduce the cost of the filter press. By changing the shape of the mold to require less pressure, we will construct the press from cheaper materials. Having a local supplier for the materials will eliminate shipping costs, ultimately resulting in a press costing about $200 in materials. This new model of press has been successfully tested from local materials in Nairi, Kenya. We will assemble a team of capable Kenyan engineers with a business background to help set up our factories. They will seek out partnerships with artisans already involved in clay because they will have the knowledge in working with the materials and also have the necessary kiln. Over the course of two days, our team will construct the press, teach the artisans how to use it, demonstrate how quality control of the filters will work, and teach them how to market it in their communities. The filters will be sold for 10 US dollars, which is within the price range of even the most impoverished people living on $1 a day. Out of the $10 cost, we will take a $1 usage fee. Conservatively, about $7 will go towards the materials to make the filter and paying for advertising and commission to the distributor. So $2 will be profit for the filter factory owner. With the factory running 40 hours a week, over the course of a year, there will be a $12,000 profit. The filters last an average of two to three years, over which the users will see increased productivity at work and at school, and greater opportunities for progress as a result of better health.